여러분 안녕하세요. 자 오늘은 uh, Let's take a look at Grammar 3.2 Destination A 가다 를 보겠습니다. Page 73 of your textbook. What's the meaning of 가다? 그럼 가다 means to go. 그렇죠? So this pattern is used to express that someone goes to a certain place. Uh, when you say 가다, uh, the meaning is always based on the place where you are, where the speaker is. 그렇죠. 그래서 뭐 if you are going to your friend's house, uh, in English you can say to your friend, I'm coming. But in Korean, you have to say I'm going because always the place where you are is important when you say this 가다. 그래요. The particle A is used to mark the destination when it is used in a sentence that has a directional verb such as 가다, to go, and 오다. To come, and you can add 다니다 to attend, to go to certain place regularly to attend. 다니다 has that meaning. 그래요. 자, this particle a is generally used with an adjective. Do you remember certain place a 있어요 structure? 그러면은 뭐 something is located at that place. 그렇죠. 그 다음에 뭐 certain place a 많아요. 그러면 뭐 there are many of something at certain place. 그렇거든요. 그래서 a is generally used with an adjective. 그런데 어, 가다 and 오다 and 다니다 with a directional verb, 어, a indicates the destination. So please remember, 어, a is used with directional verbs. 어, a is not often used with other verbs. 그렇거든요. So we'll talk about this more in detail later. 자, 그러면 let's take a look at some examples. 어, 어디에 가요? 그럼 where are you going? 그런 건데, yeah, please remember this expression. 어디에 가요? Or uh, you can omit a here. 어디 가요? is possible too. 어디 가요? 어디에 가요? Uh, Korean people like to ask this question uh, as a greeting. 그래요. So when you see a person you know on the street, uh, 뭐 you can say like 어디 가요? 뭐 어디 가세요? 그러면 it's, it sounds more polite. 그러면은 uh, where are you going? 이거는요. Uh, it's not an extra question. It's a kind of greeting. 그래요. Uh, so you don't have to be very specific about the answer. <laughs> 그래도 돼요. So, 어디 가요? Uh, if you are going to the library, you can answer like 저는 도서관에 가요. 저는 도서관에 가요. So as for me, to the library 가요. 그렇죠. 그 다음에 오늘, today, 친구가 우리 집에 와요. 친구, friend. 우리 집, 그러면 it literally means our house, uh, but more naturally, you can translate this phrase into my house. 우리 집에 와요. So today, my friend comes to my house. 그렇죠. 그 다음에 uh, you can say like 저는 아이오와 대학 에 다녀요. So I am attending the University of Iowa. And in English you can say I go to the University of Iowa. 그래서 저는 아이오와 대학에 가요. 그러면 uh, a Korean person may understand that oh you are physically <laughs> going to the building of University of Iowa. 그럴 것 같아요. 그래서 uh, 가다는요. Simply uh, somebody goes to certain place not you know attending that place regularly. Uh, for that purpose you have have to say 다니다 다녀요 저는 아이오와 대학교에 다녀요 uh, that sounds much more natural okay so this structure is very important um, because we will extend this structure more complicatedly like 저는 공부하러 도서관에 가요 I'm going to the library in order to study so we will expand this structure later so yeah please master this structure uh, by now 자 그러면 여러분 감사합니다 Yeah.